Hello Blender community! Today I want to present you another free tool that I've been developing lately. It's called Grease Pencil Magnets and the purpose is to help colorize artworks and animation. So let's get to it. So here is the magnets add-on. You can see that uh, you have the panel in the G Pencil tab. And let's take a quick look at the organization of the layer here. I have the, an empty color here. I'm going to disable the old color I've made. So an empty color here, lines here, and some details I have separated on another layer. The first thing you need to know is that you need to separate the lines you want to snap, you want to magnet, uh, and the lines that are the targets. This is handy because it allows us some filtering. So let's say here we want to colorize the chain mail and you're going to see that immediately I have the problem if I use the, the magnets that uh, these strokes are evaluated as well. So how to get rid of this? You have two uh, ways of doing this. Uh, here is the near layer target and uh, it's going to use the, the, the above target here if I'm positive. Uh, this means I have like all the targets above. But if you, let's say one, you only evaluated the target above, so lines. If I made two, it's lines and line details. So if I only at one and I'm doing this and magnets, you can see that the line details are not evaluated. The second way of doing this is uh, I'm gonna put this at zero, zero meaning uh, both all the layer above and all the layer below, and uh, I'm, filtering by materials. I'm saying uh, only using lines. So you just have to copy paste the name because it's just a string field. So you can target multiple materials by just comma separate the value. It's not case sensitive. You can type an another material name here. Before entering more into the details of the options, let's show you the scope of the selection and the brush magnets. So for example here, if I'm in draw mode and I use the uh, basic mag magnet, the magnet has just triggered once, you see that it's only the last stroke that uh, is affected. If I am in edit mode, it's the selection that it's used. So here I can uh, use both. And uh, but here uh, you, you can see that it's not working as uh, as I want. I want to fill all these areas, so I'm going to use the magnet brush this time. And uh, here the shortcut are F to change the radius of the brush and Shift F to change the magnet distance. Um, the magnet distance is actually a bit. Uh, tricky representation because it's not from the cursor but this diameter is from each point and uh, each point is represented with these uh, yellow dots uh, so you can sculpt them and uh, it's gonna uh, snap on the nearest stroke it found uh, within the diameter of the magnet radius so um, you can disable this, by the way, with the display um, position, the yellow overlay. And uh, that way I can scale the thing and press enter or spacebar to valid once I'm happy with the results. Okay, here, here. Sometimes there is a, like a little bug or I don't know. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure here there is a real problem if I'm in edit mode and sometimes just just clicking yeah see uh, that's I don't know about this I, I'm gonna try to fix this but sometimes you just have to tweak like one point of the fill and uh, there is some artifacts that are disappearing so a good thing to to do is uh, locking all the layer above uh, so that way you can say you're sure to select only your color and then you can like uh, do your thing again. So you can see also that uh, it's not only the the whole strokes, it's uh, selected points. So if I'm just selecting this point and using my both magnet or magnet brush, it's only those points like uh, that I can bring. So um, targeting only the points you need is better for performance because it's Python stuff. So uh, yeah, it's not really fast. You know, so 
Uh, also, by the way, the screen is also an indirect filter because you, the, target fil the target strokes are only those you see on screen. And uh, that is, again, for performance. Okay, so here, let me fix this quick. And um, next, we're gonna see how we can use the magneton selection to uh, select both source and target. So we have to unlock uh, the lines to be able to select the targets. I'm back to color, selecting material. And for example, here, I want to colorize the waffle, but uh, I don't want to magnet on the strokes inside. So going in edit mode, I can select, uh, you're switching to stro stroke selection. Uh, I can select both my targets. Those are on the line and my source and here using the direct magnet, I think. So a good thing to to check out is using the magnet first to see if see it's going great. And uh, you can even after using the brush to like fixing the the little problems and using spacebar to to valid. And by the way, if you use escape, you're gonna go back to the original state. And uh, same here, uh, if I take, for example, blue color for the glasses and uh, and I'm going to select these, these, these and these. And let's say I'm going to brush here. I think of, it's like a huge brush, the equivalent of the using the direct magnet because I'm using directly all the points at once. But here I can sculpt a bit more yes so you can see how it can works so uh, about the brush in this example i want to show the snap two points option and um, so let's select just one point of these so we can see the the actual points and use the magnet brush so it's saying no target strokes found and it's because my uh, material filter is only on material line and uh, these lines are using white line material and those are the only available since uh, it's the only line on screen so if I have if I was here for example and using magnet brush here you see that it's working but it's targeting those lines so just have to disable this the material filter and I'm just I've disabled the display position so we can just see where the points are going and using the, the magnet brush uh, you see that uh, when I'm moving the uh, original point let's let's show them uh, you can see what's happening um, the points are sliding along the strokes but you can use uh, the snap to points you can use the M toggle so pressing the M key uh, activates the snap two points. And here you see what's happening. It's jumping from one from the closest point instead of the closest uh, position in line. And um, this sometimes can be interesting. And also it's supposed to be faster because it's only ev evaluating points, not uh, inter intermediate line. And uh, as, a, as I said previously, this is uh, a slow process because I often I have only simple shapes here, but if you have a lot of strokes, uh, you're gonna see that it's gonna be a little laggy, and uh, um, so it's interesting to gain performance. Just one thing I forgot to talk about is the target line only, that just uh, avoiding the lines that have a material with a fill activated. So the next thing I want to talk about is uh, the fill tool because most of the time if your lines are well enclosed uh, is all you're gonna need uh, you, and the magnet is just uh, very optional but sometimes they, they can work well together for example here if I if I ha don't have a sufficient lit size I think by default it's like three uh, you can see that it's uh, passing by this those little gap and uh, filling the entire screen so let's say I want a uh, leak size of 13 and here it's okay it doesn't leak here but since you increase the leak size uh, you don't have the those areas that are 
blocked by the, the leak size. So here you can uh, use the magnet brush to like finish the job. And that's all the feature of the Grease Pencil Magnet Strokes current version 2.0. I hope this free tool can be useful for you. As usual, you have all the download information in the description. And there is also a link to follow if you want to support the development of my next free and open source tool. I'm doing all this on my free time. And uh, I guess see you for the next one.